Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is Decoms Prepper and we're out at the retreat location working on some projects this weekend and we worked on the rainwater harvester and now we're going to get under the deck here into the battery box and it's been I think three weeks since I've been out here and I want to check water levels and see how the water miser vent caps are doing and if we need to add water, add it as needed and then check out some of the cells with the hydrometer and see how the charge is. So I'll go ahead and pause here and we'll pop those wing nuts off on the top of the box and see how things are inside. Alright guys, I'm in the battery box and things are looking good. For those of you who don't follow the channel, what I have here are four Trojan T105RE lead acid batteries. They're flooded batteries, so you have to do maintenance, you have to do equalization, and of course you have to at least check them out every couple weeks to make sure the water levels are correct. And I did a previous video on these caps here, the water miser caps. And I'm going to go ahead and open those up and look down into each cell to make sure the water level is good. Now before I do this, I usually just thump the top of the cap. So if there's any condensation sitting on the pin, we'll get it off there before I open the cap. But this is going to be a two-handed job, so what I'll do is I'm going to pause here, open up some caps and let you see down inside the batteries, and we're going to check all the water levels. Alright guys, it's kind of hard to do this with two hands, but what I'm doing here with this hydrometer is checking the specific gravity for each of the 12 cells. And I believe the correct number, what I'm looking for, is 1.670 gravity for each cell. I'll check that on the battery information I have, make sure the correct number is in the description of this video. What I do is I take a little sample of the electrolyte solution, suck it up into the hydrometer here, and read where the water level falls on that scale in there. And I'll repeat this for all 12 cells. As of this check, none of the cells need any extra water. So the water miser vent cap seems to be working. And my battery system appears to be healthy. And again, I try to do this at least every three weeks. So I'll go ahead and button things back up here, clean it up, and put the lid back on. And we'll be back out in three weeks to check it again. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a short solar power system battery maintenance video. Thanks for watching, guys.